All right, guys. So today, uh, I thought I would film machining a uh, composite tapping tool. This is what it looks like. Uh, what this is is a uh, a tool used to test composite uh, laminates and composite repairs to see if they're delaminated or not. And I think this might be a Boeing designed tool. I'm not sure. Uh, but what you've got basically is uh, roughly a seven. I have not measured this tool. That is me holding it. Uh, a guy at work uh, had had this tool, and I just took snapped a picture. And I'm just going basically off the uh, size of, of my hand versus how big the tool looks in it. I think that you know the the smaller diameter here is roughly a quarter of an inch. Uh, either. The main body is either half an inch or seven sixteenths. I've got seven sixteenths brass rod, which is what we're going to use. And I'm just going to call this space here and here a half an inch. I'm calling this here a quarter inch. And I'm going to call this meter end half inch long. And then this will be about a one inch long, roughly. Three quarter to one inch. Nothing on this is critical as far as dimensions. Um, the only thing, probably the most critical part, is to make sure the radiuses on both ends are smooth. Uh, that way, when you're tapping your composite repair, you're not leaving any kind of uh, defects in the repair. So, so let's get on with this. I don't want to make this video any longer than I have to. So, the first thing I like to do is uh, have a little bit of stick out. That's probably about an inch and a quarter or so. I'm going to put the uh, the eighth inch. Actually, this is the 3 16 radius on this end, and uh, I'm going to spin this up at about 600 RPM, and let's get after it. Okay, we've got us a nice radius there. Uh, the next step to this is I've just got this. Uh, this is a custom ground high speed steel cutter. The width of this cutter is about 170 thousandths. Uh, not on purpose, that's just the way it came out. And what I like to do on this is I just come up and I'm just going to kiss the end of this. Then I'm going to reach up and I'm going to zero out my DRO. and then uh, come back and we're going to transverse this over. I want about a half an inch uh, you know, of, of section here. So we're going to go over 670 thousandths. Remember the width of this is 170 so half inch plus 170. So let's go ahead and and then let's uh, go ahead and just plunge in and then I'm going to zero the DRO and then we'll scoot over uh, 330 thousandths and that's going to give us our half inch because uh, that's going to be a half inch minus 170 thousandths. Now at this point I'm going to need to set the DRO for the diameter of this stock which is 430 thousandths. So 
basically what we should have is about a half inch right here and a half inch right there now at this point I'm going to go ahead and pull this out a little bit and what I want to have is roughly about two and three quarters stick out right here that's good enough because we're going to knurl about an inch and a half of this and I'm going to go ahead and polish this section out so the first or the next step actually is I'm going to take a file and I'm just going to hit these uh, edges real quick slow the machine up a little bit for this uh, knurling operation a little better view there hopefully and let's see I've already slowed the machine up so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Okay, got some nice crisp knurls. I'm going to go ahead and hit this edge with a file real quick. Get rid of the knurler and put our custom cutter back in. Get us a little bit more stick out. Let's 
So basically now what I want is about an inch and a half of knurls. So I'm just going to kind of butt up and eyeball about where my cutter's at. Zero out the DRO. And we're going to come over about an inch and a half. About right there looks good. All right. Just a quick double check. Yep, perfect. And now, let me speed it back up, 600 RPM. And we'll plunge in, we'll get our quarter inch depth, then we're just going to transverse over 330 thousandths to get our half inch. Show you the picture again. So now we're going to cut this and we're just going to make that half an inch. I'm calling this a quarter inch. And then uh, this here will be anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch. need a little bit more stick out so let me go ahead and pull this out just a little bit more go ahead and clamp right down on the uh, knurls. I just don't do it so hard that it leaves any kind of impressions. Get rid of that cutter. Throw this one in. Get you a better view here. Hopefully. 
Now, since I've got this particular cutter on this side of the uh, tool holder, this is the cutting edge right here, not this back side. So I've got to turn the lathe in reverse in order to get this cut. So that's why I'm putting this on this side of the stock. these edges and then we'll hit it with some scotch bright and call this done. And of course, you could polish this out to a nice shiny mirror. I just like this satin look because it's probably going to tarnish over time anyway. And there's a nice little... Uh, tapping tool for composite. I guess the most critical uh, part of this whole deal is to make sure that the radiuses here are nice and smooth. That way you're not leaving any kind of uh, divots or defects in your composite material. And the way this works, you just, you know, if this was your composite, you'd just uh, kind of drop this, you know, hold it about a half an inch or so above the work and you just drop it down and you'd uh, test the sound to see if it's solid or if it sounds hollow and that's how that works and like I say I, I'm not sure if this is a Boeing manufactured tool um, or not but uh, anyway that's it this, this one's made out of brass I think Boeing's was stainless steel Anyway, that's it for this one. You guys take care. We'll see you.